Hey guys, the Quack45 here, and today I have episode 23 of my mind or of my Versatex survival series. So, in the last episode, I started on uh, Ender IO, got a little bit of basic machinery, the Sagnol and the Alloy Smelter, and also crafted one capacitor bank and was starting to make a second one, as you can see I did. And uh, yeah, so got some other stuff to uh, show you regarding these ones, and I'm gonna set up my power system to be a little bit more efficient. So, anyway, um, again, as I said, the capacitor banks are, uh, multi-blocks, so I made two of them, so this is 10 million RF that I can hold with the, uh, reactor, which is on, filling its, uh, 20 million RF, I have capacity for 20 million RF in this, uh, base, and because I doubled it up, this is a double... Uh, input and output for ma or the maximum input and output, so I can do ten thousand in and out, as opposed to uh, five thousand with just one on its own. And of course, that's going to increase by five thousand with everyone you connect, and so on and so forth. So, um, also when you place these capacitor banks down, I'm not sure why it has it here, but um, when you place it capacitor banks down, they will show. They will show um. The side that you place them down facing towards you, they'll have a little bar that shows uh, how much... It just gives you a visual of how much power there is in the capacitor bank. Um, it's a little bit buggy, especially when you get into like much bigger multi-blocks, so it's a little bit difficult to uh, set up so that it's facing correctly, but with these two, it was nice and easy. So I uh, took my basic energy cube out, plopped the capacitor over the um, power tap of this reactor, and now, I have it connected here. You know, you notice that I disconnected these two. Um, or I disconnected these two lines of machines. That's because I'm going to take all of these kibbles out and upgrade them. Luckily, uh, the machines that I do need to upgrade with are under, or are in this uh, sort of area. So basically, um, I have advanced universal cables, but I'm going to upgrade these once more to uh, elite, and that will get me 8 kilojoules per tick. Um, for everyone, so that should solve my, any problem that I have regarding, um, a bottleneck. And also, the reason I split these up is so that, uh, they're not, the machine, or the machine's power for everything is not all feeding out through this one cable, um, that was connected to the, uh, to the, uh, energy cube. It's because that was, everything was drawing from that energy cube, so it was, uh, 2.2 kilojoules per tick it could send out and if machines were drawing more than that throughout all of these machines It would be slowing all the machines down. So instead I'm gonna have um, This I'm gonna have this cable going to feed this line of machines And then I'm gonna have a cable coming out of this part of the capacitor. So another 10,000 out hopefully uh, Well, that's interesting. I can uh, oh here's a way to edit it then I can mark the uh, IO Let's do that. It's putting nothing in or out right now. Um, and then I'm going to have one right here coming out to this line of machines and one right here coming out to this line of machines. All elite cables so that I have the max, or so that I have eight kilojoules per tick for every line of machines. Uh, that should deal with all of the power bottleneck problems for now. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to upgrading these guys. So, when you upgrade them, you're going to need a reinforced alloy for each 8, and I'm going to make 24 in total. So, uh, I need 3 reinforced alloy. These are made by infusing compressed diamond or diamond dust in a, into an enriched alloy in a metallurgic infuser. Diamond dust can be made by crushing a diamond, and uh, I believe it's like... Yeah, enrichment chamber will make it into compressed diamond that has a couple uses not really any other than I think it's really just the same as diamond dust but if you only have one then there you go but I have an or have a, both of them so I'm not really sure which I'm gonna use that's the wrong way to do that okay I have uh, three enriched alloy sitting around luckily and where are my diamonds plenty of diamonds this fortune pick is a godsend um, it has like fortune 450 things of fortune on it or uh, no it's like 300 or something uh, 242. Still, I get, like, two or three diamonds from every ore. I would really, really recommend putting fortune on these, uh, these picks. That's the luck, the luck attribute. Okay. Um, I need a little bit of a block to fill this in. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. It's gonna spill out a little bit, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Just having uh, water pouring into my nuclear reactor, that is not an issue at all. And let's... Um, I'm gonna have a slight problem in that... Ah! I know how I can deal with this problem. I was gonna say I have a slight problem because I need to take these cables up. But, I have a solution. Right here, this basic energy cube. I do need to um, be able to place it properly, so I need a bit of cobblestone. Because it places with the output up, right there. Um, and I need to be able to place it so that it's gonna output up into the metallurgic infuser. Actually, I need to do it for both of these bastards. So that's fine. We're gonna crush... Oh, no, we're gonna enrich, because I decided to do it on the enrichment chamber. Um, we're gonna enrich these guys down. He ran out of power rather quickly. There's some power for you. Oh, no, it's done. Never mind. That's fine, then. Oh, I, I, can, I can work with that. Faster speeds is always good. Okay, here's the, uh, inch alloy. Get to work. Oh, and I never upgraded my metallurgy confuser. Son of a bitch, I should have done that. But, I guess I didn't. I'll do that eventually. Probably off camera, because it's kind of boring. Uh, I'll be back to you when this is done. As you can see, it's... Fuck me, I needed way less than three diamonds, but now I have a bunch of diamonds in the metallurgy confuser. Okay, I only needed one, because it gives you a hundred for each. So, uh, yeah, that was a kind of a waste, but it's fine. We got them done in the end. I can afford it anyway. Okay. Enrich alloy in the center, and these guys around. Elite universal cable. Capable of transferring 8 megajoules per tick. We will not have any bottlenecking issues anymore. At least, for now, with the, this few machines on the line. As I increase the size of my machine usage, it's probably going to be a little bit more. I need a little bit extra of these. Um, put one there, and put one there, and there. Okay. Let's get down here. Put the cable through. Oh, wait. I need to uh, get... Hello. The cable's up in this biatch right there. Cool. And um, I'm going to be short a couple cables. I might be. I might have to make a few more. I'll, do I'll just do that off camera because I think you get the idea if that's necessary. Um, no, I think it's fine. I got uh, two left. Everything's powered? Yeah, everything's powered. Okay, so yeah, as you, as you can see, I now have these cables all connecting, powering their machines on their own, so there's not going to be a bottleneck pulling all the power through one cable out from the thing and then splitting it off to every machine, so that is going to be a much more efficient method. So that's always good. That's going to finish it off for that part of the video, but I'm going to get some other stuff done. Let's take a look at my to-do list. So, we got mine more shit, that's sort of an ongoing one just off camera. Increased smeltery size, I'll do that eventually, but I don't usually use the smeltery too much anymore. Uh, power flower, that's an EMC power flower for uh, equivalent exchange. I'll do that later, if any, if at all. Uh, the reason there's a question mark is because it's kind of OP, so I might not do it. Crop farms, animal farms, I've been starting on that down here. Um... Down here, this is where I'm going to put some farms. I'm probably going to do that in a later episode with uh, some certain machines. These uh, patches of grass can get out of here. I don't need them. I don't need them in my life. Um, yeah, I'm going to do crop farms and animal farms down here. Or at least crop farms. Animal farms might be somewhere over here. So that I have all of this stuff that I need, including carrots, which is what I've been surviving off of for most of this series. Um, then we're going to skip over that one because I'm going to come back to it. Power, uh, start Thalmcraft, I'll get to that eventually, quadruple ore output, and eventually quintuple ore output, mob grinder, and applied energistics too. Um, I'm gonna get to applied energistics too pretty quickly, or pretty soon, but the one that I'm going to work on now, or at least get started on in the end of this episode, is, uh, space. It does say later, but we're just gonna backspace that out of there, because we're gonna do it now, or at least start it now. So... The mod that allows you to get to space is called Galacticraft. Oh wait, it's Galacticraft Core. Yep, Galacticraft Core. And then there's also uh, Galacticraft Planets. Um, <clears throat> these have much more advanced stuff that we're gonna get to eventually, but they're expensive. So we're gonna start with Core, which allows you to go into space, 
make space stations and go to the moon which is always good so we're gonna need some stuff we're gonna need a lot of things in fact it's gonna take a lot of stuff to get to space unfortunately but uh, we're gonna get started oh, there's a energy storage cluster batteries and stuff so we're gonna need a rocket and it's going to require a nose cone which is three heavy-duty plate tier one a redstone torch and then we're going to require four heavy or eight heavy duty plate for the main thing, a tier one rocket engine, which is a button, a flint and steel, a tin canister, an oxygen oxygen vent, and four heavy duty plates, um, four rocket fins, which are two compressed steel and four heavy duty plates each. We need two, or we need four of them, so that's going to be a lot. Heavy duty plates are made with compressed steel, two compressed steel, two compressed aluminum, and two compressed bronze. How do we compress in an ingot compressor, in fact? And how do we make this stuff? You uh, compress things together um, in an ingot compressor. So you take two bronze ingots, two iron ingots, two steel ingots, etc., etc., and that's going to allow you to compress things. So let's make a compressor. Um, yeah, I need a compressor to make that one, so I'm gonna have to make a basic one that's powered with stuff. So we need a basic wafer. So I'm gonna need a circuit fabricator. Galacticraft is kind of complex. I might do some stuff off camera. So let's start with a circuit fabricator That is going to require aluminum wire, which is three aluminum and six wool. Let's see if I got that stuff I'll actually get the materials together and get back to you Also, I should note as I'm crushing this stuff down and doing all this stuff. No issue with power No issue with power draw anymore because this is all dealt with with my new super incredible setup of cables So that's always good it's uh, getting filled right back up. So, I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, I'm back. I got the stuff. I got some aluminum, and I know that I'm going to need all, at least all of this stuff. I don't know exactly how much, but I just got what I could. So, uh, you're going to need at least one redstone. You're going to need two sticks. Uh, exactly, I know that. I think it's I think it's um one redstone as well. Six wool, some cobble, some stone, some regular stone, uh, some aluminum, and some copper. So... Well, let's start out with a circuit fabricator because we need that it's going to be a redstone torch and a lever and some aluminum wire as we saw that's a nice easy recipe like that and then uh, a redstone torch and a lever <coughs> there's the torch and there's the lever and then I think it's oh yeah a furnace and uh, two buttons I know it was that's a stone rods two buttons and I think that's everything Yep, so it's gonna be like this aluminum there the lever is there the two buttons are there The furnace is there the aluminum wire two of them is there you have some extra and the redstone torch on the bottom This is gonna require power now Galacticraft is a bitch as far as power is concerned because Galacticraft machines only accept power and inputs and stuff from one side so, you have to figure out where that side is, and then please the machine. Because it's not going to take any of your crap if it's not happy. Alright, uh, where is it? It's probably on the... It should be on that side. No power. Oh, do they need their fucking... Yo, you gotta be kidding me. I think it's only... The machine will only take its own fucking cables. Okay, so that connected, or at least I think it did. Yeah, that didn't connect normally. Son of a bitch, Galacticraft. So yeah, Galacticraft is a bitch. It's going to take a little bit of effort to get your Galacticraft machines working. Ah, it accepts power straight from it. Oh, I bet it uses energy conduits. Son of a bitch. All right, anyway, so yeah, that circuit fabricator is now happy enough. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna need, for the compressor, we're gonna need a basic wafer, so that's gonna take a redstone torch up there, a redstone there, two silicon, raw silicon, which is an ore, there, and a diamond. So, Galactraft is expensive, I'll get back to you when I have the materials for that. Alright, that should be everything, I have, uh, my diamond, two raw silicon, a redstone torch, and a piece of redstone. This redstone torch would be a repeater, I believe it was, if it was an advanced wafer, which we're not waking at the moment. We will have to later, I believe, though. So, redstone torch goes up here. These are only going to fit in their own spots, as you can see, that's not going to go there. Uh, diamond there, and the two raw silicon, they don't stack. Oh, no, they do, but it's not going to work with it, so you got to put it there. 
It's going to take a little minute or two to uh, make the wafer. Let's get the other materials together. I actually have them. So we got to wait for this guy to finish his job up so that we can make the compressor, which is powered by coal. So um, that the coal is a little bit irritating, but at least we don't have to work with the stupid ass power requirements of Galacticraft machines. I think it was a furnace in the center. Oh, no, it was an anvil. Anvil, yeah. All right, so this is going to require a little bit of iron. Let's get that iron. Here it is. Anvil. Oh, yeah, it was three blocks. God damn it. Fucking anvil. Just like that. Cross the top and then iron in the bottom. Good. Anvil. Should be using a damaged one so that I'm saving, but I don't need it. Uh, this was in the bottom, I think. Uh, copper there and the aluminum here. Okay, anvil in the top, copper in the middle, the very middle, basically from the bottom, and aluminum along the sides. There is that. The compressor. Let's get some coal for it. And the compressor is, of course, powered by coal, so it doesn't need to be plugged in. On the downside, it is kind of irritating. And slow. <laughs> Alright, let's put this down here with the other Galacticraft machines and put some fuel in there. Let's get, uh, let's get some compressed aluminum. So you gotta put two pieces like that, and it's gonna compress it. It's not gonna accept it in any other pattern. You're gonna need a lot of this stuff. So I would suggest, son of a bitch. Here, let's do this. Alright, no, it's, I'm getting it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's some fucking aluminum. Why is there 55 aluminum? Did I grab that? Something tells me I just cheated. I just cheated. All right, I'm gonna delete it then. That's why I shouldn't be in cheat mode. God damn it. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, compressing with a very irritating sound into compressed aluminum. That is one of many compressed ingots. So, I think that's gonna finish up this part of the video. This is gonna take a lot of work, so I'm gonna try and get a lot of the materials together. So again. Fuck. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, so again, nose cone. It's going to require a lot of heavy-duty plates. Let's see. One, two, eight plus uh, seven. So that's 15 plus uh, 16. 31. I think it's 31 heavy-duty plus uh, eight compressed steel. Um, compressed steel, you can do it like that, or you can take steel ingots. And the heavy-duty stuff is, of course... Two compressed steel, two compressed aluminum, and two compressed bronze. Bronze is a mix of copper and tin. You can do that, or you can do it like this. Two pieces of bronze. So, yeah. That's that. That's going to finish up the video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching, and bye.